So one of the questions that I ask early in my research career was, if we look at mescaline and we look at LSD and we look at psilocybin or DMT, if they're all activating the same biological target, what is it that they have in common that allows them to do that? What are the molecular and structural features that let that happen? We're still working on that. For a long time, it was thought that the mescaline analogs, when they bound to the receptor in some way, um, mirrored or, or mimicked the structure of LSD. Uh, the structure of DMT, or any of the substituted tryptamines like psilocybin, also has similarities to the structure of LSD. So there's been this game of trying to superimpose the molecules and see how they resemble each other. What we found in the last couple years, we've been doing molecular biology studies actually on the serotonin 2A receptor. We've been mutating the receptor and actually docking different modified tryptamines and mescaline analogs in the receptor and actually trying to map out how they do bind within that receptor. And they do have uh, very different ways of interacting with the receptor itself. So the receptor is activated by DMT or, or psilocin or LSD or mescaline. It's activated so that we get the biochemical signal produced. But in terms of the way it interfaces with the receptor, it has a very different orientation.